Good day, guys. Okay, so today we're going uh, motorbike shopping. Um, yeah, so we're going motorbike shopping with one of my um, customers from my bar, Roy. He just moved to Thailand. So, Roy. Yeah. Okay, so. So, why did you move to Thailand? Retired and got a call from a friend said get over here to do another and uh, we'll team up so I come over after a week it was a done deal retirement visa all done and dusted get this great guy down at Rumpole's uh, eatery Greg Farmer <laughs> and it was, it was so good we went there every night for all the best hamburgers in bloody Thailand they were amazing and you don't often get a bar owner that you meet after a few weeks, and you mentioned buy a motorbike, and he says to you the next day, When you're ready to buy the bike, give me a yell, I'll pick you up. I know a bit about bikes, and I'll take you there and show you what to buy, what not to buy. How many shop owners in a new land do that for you? Well, there you go. That's just a okay. So, Roy, so what are, what are, what's the criteria for today? What are we looking for? Looking for. A little bit of power, like you said. We need something over 150. Yeah. So, um, but the bike's going to be for base mainly two up riding? Two up riding. Yeah. I, so, are you the rider or the passenger? I'm the passenger, so I need a bit of bum room. Yeah. And my Thai girlfriend will be doing the driving. Yeah. We need perhaps a carry a carry luggage thing on the back of the yeah. book. A bit of room under the seat for the helmet. And just other specifications that you come up with. Uh, okay, so what are we looking at? Manual bike or automatic bike? Automatic. Or, okay, scooter or motorbike? Scooter. Okay, all right, well let's yep. go and have a look yep. and um, we'll go through and see what we can find. Yeah, cool. So guys, we're at Midian Motorcycle at Thepreset, on Thepreset Road. Now I've had my bike serviced here and I was pretty happy with the service, so I thought I'd give this place a go see how we go, eh? Okay, so Roy, we'll have a look around, huh? Yep. We'll start over here. Now this is a Scoopy. These come in, um, one, they're about a 110 um, cc engine. So these are little round town bike, usually for people by themselves, yeah. girls and stuff like that. So they're a little automatic bike, they go okay. Um, but a little round town bike, probably not suited for sure. doubling and stuff like you want. Yeah. And um, they, they range from about fifty to seventy thousand baht, so they're, they're pretty That's cheap. Works pretty well. Well, the spoke smoke spoke wheel model is about fifty two thousand, and then the, the more sporty one with those wheels is about up around seventy thousand. But they're they're pretty good. Then you've got these waves. All right. Now they're a little manual transmission, and these yeah. are I really like by the um, the tyres. They sort of suit these up and have a lot of fun with them. But again, they're a real um, industrial sort of bike and um, manual transmission, so. And these are a 110, though. They get a 110 and a 125. And so they, they range from about 50,000 to about 65,000, I think. But they're manual and you don't really, no. you weren't after a manual. No. Okay, so we'll keep going. All right. Okay, so this red one here. This is a PCX now. They're very popular. They're a good buy for around town. They're not too big, but they're also um, uh, good for doubling. You've got a 160 cc engine. So it's big enough. So it's big enough, and they're quite comfortable. They've got good storage under the thing, but they're easy to throw around and and uh, manage. And they, this this model has ABS, oh, which is a good good option for for you yeah. if you want to um, you know feel a bit safer. And the, the brakes are actually a lot better. Yeah. Okay, now this one next to it, or these two here, these are probably what I'd get, the ADV350. Now, they're a big sort of adventure sort of type scooter. They're, you know, well over, they're about 200,000, 210,000. And they're just going to be a bit big for you. Yeah, too, too big for you guys, yeah. Okay, so, okay, and then you've got your big Forzas. A okay, big for, uh, Honda Forza 350, that's oh, what I've got, yeah. And the same thing, they're up around 200,000 baht for one of them. But they're a great scooter, and they've got electric windscreen, and they'll scoot around oh, and sit okay. 120 k's an hour, no problem all day. So, okay, so now then, then you've got this one. 
All right, which is, um, is the, 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 yeah, this is the Click 125, the spoke wheel edition, so it's ah, cheaper okay. than your, your um, other one. Yeah. So this is a basic one, it's good for running around town, but it's only a single single shock on one side, so it's probably not ideally suited to um, two, up. two up, but um, yeah, it's a good little bike for running around if you're a girl or just a single guy and you're just running around town and needed some transport, that'd mm. be pretty good. And then you go up to the this one over here. Next yeah, this is the Click 160 now. Um, these are really, really popular around here. There's a um, little automatic bike, 160 cc's. I think, what are they about? I think she said about 65,000. 65. Yeah, yeah, so but they're pretty, pretty powerful little thing. Um, but again, single-sided shock absorber, so it's not going to be ideal. It's good as the PCX no for taking to a yeah, no ABS brake. So anyway, so that's um, what you're looking at. So so far, it, it's looking like the um, ADV 160 and the PCX are your best options in Honda. Yeah. So, but we can uh, go for a bit of a drive down and find the Yamahas and um, have a look at their options. The only, I like. think I saw a one Yamaha for a one fifty five cc. Yeah. But none here at all. Okay, well we'll find a Yamaha shop and we'll get, um, they've got a couple of options now. They've got an Aerox, which is a 155. It's a quite a, a comfortable bike um, to zoom around. It's very bit sporty. And they've also got uh, NMAX, which is a um, another, it's like a PCX. So we can go and, the police actually ride the NMAXs. So we can um, go and have a look at one of them and see what they're worth and uh, see if you like them. Yeah, sounds cool. And check it out, huh? Yep, good as gold. Okay, guys, so we've had a bit of a look around. Now we're going to go for a run over to the Yamaha shop and see um, the Yamaha options and prices and see what they're like. But um, so far, like I said before, ADV 160 and the uh, Honda PCX are looking the good so far. So anyway, we'll keep going. It's a 115 Yamaha. Yeah. Oh, the 115, is it? Yeah, Yamaha, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Roy, so we're at another shop now. This is in the dark side. Yep. And as you can see, we've got all the same sorts of bikes, but they've got, they've got another brand over here. Yeah. It's called um, GPX, and they've got two bikes. They've got a, what they call a drone, which is this um, red one here. It's mm -hmm. comparable to, say, the PCX Honda, which yeah. is here. Now, the PCX Honda in the spec you want is about 115000 The drone... And a similar 150cc, similar sort of thing, is 80,000. So there's quite big a difference. Little, big difference. But also, they've also got another one here called a Tuscany. Yeah. We'll show you that. And yeah, so a absolutely. real trendy looking Vespa style retro scooter. That's a, that's a great looking thing. Yeah. And look at this, guys. This is the Tuscany 150. Now, these are. A Chinese brand, but they're um, actually assembled in Thailand, I believe. So what I've been told, and this one's about sixty-five thousand. That's a one fifty cc. Yeah. yeah. So they're pretty um, trendy, good-looking bike. They're a great-looking bike. Yeah, and um, for the price. Yeah, and for that, for sixty-five thousand. So that's another option. Plus, you're getting your ABS brakes. Yeah, so it's got ABS brakes as well. One fifty cc engine, and uh, really nice-looking little bike. Nice finish. Oh, beautiful. So this one's sort nice, of... Nice, comfortable seat. Throwing a spanner in the works. And Annie likes this one. So I think this one's probably the this winner. Is, this is on the shopping list. Yeah. Place. So this is um, probably pretty well... Sold. <laughs> to the front. Okay, so we'll um, keep going. And we'll see if we can find a Yamaha dealer with some Yamahas to compare. And that'll probably do us for today. Yeah. Girlfriend. Okay, Roy, so we're at this next shop. This sells a few Yamahas and actually sells Vespas as well. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have a look at these, eh? Yeah. So you got the Waves as per the other shop, but I'll show you what they haven't got at the other one. It's, it's, got, uh, it's got Vespas here, which we haven't got. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll have a look at the Vespas. So we've seen the drones, so they were good value. So we got the, the Aerox. 
All right, the 155 Aerox, which is a Yamaha, Yamaha yeah. sort of, yeah, but we've sort of turned against that sort of styling. Actually, the wheels, are they, are they spoke or...? Yeah, they're, they're uh, alloy wheels. Alloy, alloy. Yeah. Okay, so we've got um, these Vespas up here. Now, these are a 150cc version of what you're after. Yep. But um, compared to the other one, these are 136900 bucks. Oh, twice the price. Yeah, so they're double the price of the other one. Yeah, but they are Vespa, so that's sort of what you're looking at. So... Uh, I think that previous one that we saw yeah make, makes it a good good value it, uh, all right I think we got one more stop and um, and we'll ch check out one more place so what do you think so far yeah that other one's looking pretty good oh, isn't it? it's a done deal if this had to come in about 70 or 75 yeah the, the, the color range in here is really nice yeah. I like the olive green so would have liked great. This is a um, yeah. This is very retro, but they are Vespa. I don't know yeah. if they're made in Italy or made in China or whatever, but they're the original Vespa brand. So, but yeah, one hundred thirty-six thousand baht oh. for a little scooter. It's a lot of money. So yeah. anyway, we're going to check out some more, eh? Hey? Okay.